Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. This is a lengthy blog, so I ask for some patience. And as I go through, I'm going to read along with you because I don't have time to do this before and look at it and try to memorize it. So please bear with me as I go through it. Like I said, it's kind of long and it's concerning Salter's Market. It's located in St. George. There seems to be a new food truck trailer spot that has been um, set up there in Salter's St. George. And they're saying that the landlords are not being honest with tenants. The landlords have provided tenants with contracts that look like templates from Google. They're written incorrectly and they're full of errors. The prices were said to be based on square footage of your trailer or your hut. However, some tenants, they soon found out that they're paying more for the space that they're in. Okay, just you can read along and I'm just going to go through it with you. Okay. This is the second page. Apart from rent being ridiculously priced, the landlords are also asking tenants to pay for electricity, water, and security. These items were not stated on the contract, okay? So it was a surprise to the tenants. The landlords, the landlords are apparently unable to provide tenants with individual bills for electricity and they tell the pair they told the tenants that they will divide up the amount of electricity of each hut slash trailer and they'll get a bill each month okay i have photos at the end of this blog like i said it's lengthy the landlords are said to be pressuring tenants to pay for security security that is nowhere to be found okay and the tenants would be introduced to security persons so that they can feel comfortable however no nothing like that is no tenant have been introduced to this so-called security team okay lack of security at the site inadequate lighting by 6 p.m., the site is completely dark. Okay, I'm going to the next page. But you can stop and you can read word for word, okay? Please. All tenants were rushed by the operations team to bring their trailers, huts to the site to be hooked up to electricity and water. When you got to the site, you were asked to pay two times additional fees to hook up your plumbing. And it was never mentioned to the tenants. They're being taken for a ride and they're being surprised at every turn, okay? It takes six to eight weeks after you arrive at that site to be hooked up to water and electricity. Although some tenants didn't have the water and electricity available, the landlords were still demanding rent. Okay, I'm going to the next page. Okay, so it seems as though they failed to get the site plan approved by town and country planning or they did not read the plan correctly They told the tenants where to put their trailers and their huts. They had all the trailers and the huts on the property line. They found out in a few weeks later that the tenants' huts and trailers had to be moved because they were not placed in the correct spots based on the approved the boundary plan by the town country planning people they had to pay after they after the landlord told them where to put their huts and their trailers and it was in the incorrect spot then they had to pay okay to move their huts and trailers to the right spot okay 
next page. This is a big, oh, you're not seeing the, um, everything because it, it, it formulated differently, it paginated differently, but I'll read it. The incompetent management team, they have no clue what they're doing, running nail salons on site while trying to run a construction site and manage all of the tenants. This team is also full of attitude and decide to respond to you and your concerns when they feel like it. That's what was written on this particular page, okay? Okay, this one is pretty good. The incompetent operations team. They set unrealistic and restrictive rules for tenants when it comes to building their huts. They can only build their huts during certain hours of the day, not to interfere with tenants while they are open. They must also build their huts within a two week span and no longer. The bathrooms are shabby looking. Okay, you just, you just go on. I have photos of, and of some videos. Construction on roads while tenants are open and selling food. This caused some of the tenants to close because of the dust blowing up in the wind. Okay, next page. Although this place has been established since September 2023, it still looks like a haphazard construction zone with barely any seating, no music, no vibe, nothing. Yeah, so you can go on through. The landlords are just there about the rent, okay? They just, they just want their rent. The, land, the landlords do not care. Okay, this is Salter's Market, established in 2023. This is, I have um, underneath some photos, it's telling me why this particular photo was sent, but this is a photo, remember it, because after I go through, it would, the, the person who sent this was pretty thorough. They'll tell you why. I don't know if this is the bathroom area that's being constructed. But um, this is part of Salter's Market. This is the Town Country Plan. Okay, so it was the bathrooms. Remember, I showed you this before. It's the bathrooms that they have they have been building for months now. Months now, they said that all of this, everything I've said from the beginning of this blog, it is all alleged. Okay, it, it's someone sending me a blog and you have to go and see if what is being said here matches okay this is a nail salon at salter's market a nail salon salter's market inadequate and lack of inadequate and concerning lack of lighting the landlords and operations team provided for tenants to operate in See how dark it is. I mentioned that earlier in the blog, in the written section of the blog. This is not, this is just a photo. I do have a video. This is the electrical wall for trailers and huts. Landlords want to calculate the electricity and provide tenants with the amount they should pay. This is the disorganized site plan. I showed that to you before for Salter's Market, they provided to tenants, but also didn't follow the plan correctly, which caused tenants having to move their huts and trailers, okay? And this, these are the videos now. This is the nail salon. This is showing you how dark it is by 6 p.m. how dark it is no lighting or inadequate lighting okay so you can get uh, an idea of what this blogger is speaking about okay next one 
they're talking here about no seating but I, I can see benches but they're saying I guess they should have said it's not enough but they did say there's no no place to sit okay let's see if we get an idea this is I guess this is the bathroom area it will tell you it will tell me when i go forward when i go forward yeah this is the electricity grid talked about that this is the lack of seeding and poor layout lack of seeding and poor layout this is the terrible layout okay i guess that one was the layout showing you how poorly it's laid out and yet, yeah we're back here to the beginning Okay, so let's go back and look at the, since you know what the, the pictures and the, just to match up the photo and the video. So this shows what a bad layout it is. This shows the lack of seating and poor layout. Wait, was this a, what kind of paint job is that? <laughs> I don't know. Is that a design? I don't know. Show the electrical grill and okay here it is now you can match the photo and the video I guess this is showing you the poor layout how you know how obzaki it looks yeah, it does kind of look like a mess doesn't it yeah, this is the lighting, how bad it is once it gets dark, once the sun goes down. This is the nail salon. Okay, so you get an idea of what this blog or the blogger is speaking about, okay? She's talking, he's talking, they are talking about the Salter's market and how they feel at this point that they're being scammed, they're being um, taken advantage of, that it's very disorganized no they don't know what they're doing and they are the landlords are all about the money now who are the landlords never once mentioned who are the landlords and you know they have to have faces they're not ghosts you know so who are the landlords is it the government who 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 would the landlord be i would love to know that and i can add that well i don't know if i can add it in the um top part but yeah i would love to know who the landlord is that's being complained of at salter's market but this is a blog i received take it for what it is okay i want to go it's okay this is the first page i want to go back here and i'll go through again one more time i just i'm not going to read it i'm just going to go through just in case you want to see what the person is saying what the persons are saying the light, the landlord supplies to the site barely lights up three, uh, three by three, three foot by three foot space. Yeah, it's not much light at all. That's like a very, that's like a bathroom. That's it. This is Sherry Veronica.